Hello, this is the 2013 AMC 10A number 8. What is the value of 2 to the 2014th plus 2 to the 2012th divided by 2 to the 2014th minus 2 to the 2012th? Right over here. Well, to start off, you might be thinking, maybe I can just like cross out some of these exponents and it's just equal to like minus 1 or I can just add these exponents and all crosses out and stuff. But you realize that those don't follow the exponential laws and none of that works. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create um, some sort of like term between both of these, um, n between the denominator and the uh, numerator. And you'll also notice that these, 2 to the 2014 and 2 to the 2012th, have a similar term. And that term is 2 to the 2012th. See, I can rewrite this as 2 to the 2012 times 2 squared plus 1. Because when we use the distribution property, uh, that becomes that. And 2 to the 2012 times 1 is just 2 to the 2012th. It's the little uh, tongue twister over there. And now on the denominator side, well, you'll notice they both also have 2 to the 2012th in common. So it's going to be 2 to the 2012th times oh, 2 squared. This time it's going to be minus because there's a negative over here. Minus 1. Okay, now all we need to do is solve for this. And what you'll notice over here is that now we do have like terms between the numer numerator and denominator, which can cancel out, which makes our life so much more simple. What we're going to do, just going to cross out 2 to the 2012 on the numerator and denominator because they equal 1. So now we're just left with two, to, uh, 2 squared plus 1 over 2 squared minus 1. Well, 2 squared plus 1, that's going to be 5. 2 squared minus 1, that's going to be 3. So the value of this crazy expression can actually just be factored into some simple expression that's just 5 over 3. Um, it doesn't seem very, uh, like, off the top of your brain you come up with that, but after you try and factor, it's uh, really cool how that works out. Anyways, thank you for watching and goodbye.